Welcome back to another video, everybody. And we're going to have a look at the rise of life. The first 3.5 billion years. John Reader and illustrated by John Gucci. Sorry if I mispronounce your name. So this is an amazing book from 1986. More catered towards, you know, adults or you know, older teenagers, it is quite um, more on the scientific side. No copyright attended, all artwork belongs to the owners. And John Gucci has made some amazing um, models of prehistoric man. So, and, and some of the artwork in this book is quite amazing. So, it is quite. Um, tech heavy and there's a lot of um, information about how life began and on cells and, and and things like that stuff that we learnt in biology so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to we've got Charles Owen there skip to some of the artwork because there is a lot of text that's pretty cool. So is that like the beginning of life? Is that the Big Bang? What is that? Uh, micro engineering, the complex chemistry of the events from which life on Earth arose. Pretty cool. It's a pretty cool image actually. Just seeing, just kind of like the Big Bang of life, I guess, but not a Big Bang, obviously. Just how chemistry and things combining and changing and reacting and somehow you know, cells and life was created. We've got some, got some picture of cells here. Evolution of cellular evolution of early earth. And we'll skip we'll skip this stuff on cells and so forth and we'll get to where life started in the ocean and we've got some really early um, animals here, creatures and you've probably seen these before these guys, some of the earliest fossils found the oldest life so pretty cool that's trilobites here and a few other like a few other little species hiding in between. That's a really nice piece of artwork. It's so clean, like from 1986. And even like the way the lighting's coming on the back. I can't even pronounce its name. Yeah, with Lucy Gino and Opabina, Opabinia, so really cool. Doesn't even look like it's in the ocean in a certain way. It looks like that could even look like the sky, but yeah, in the ocean, on the floor, sea floor, got some really weird looking creatures, and we've got some other marine invertebrates here. A whole bunch of them. And I'm not sure what this picture is meant to mean because that kind of looks like sharks, and that looks like fossils. Like some like early fish there. So what is this? Yeah, jawed fish, early fish, jawed fish, and teeth environment skeletons. And Oh, okay, so it's like the, the way it's, they evolve kind of from being lungfish to having just simple mouths and then having more of a complex jaw. Oh, yeah, I get it. Actually, when you look at this picture, it's actually pretty cool because you've got a lot of the early fish there. It's upside down, but they're like fossilized. And as they're evolving, you've got 
this to me looks like a like a whale you can kind of see the backbone and you got like sharks so it's kind of like the evolution of fish in a way which is which is pretty cool it's different it's, yeah it's quite different Devonian now, uh, no, no, the land was starting to become populated with like early, more like amphibian type of creatures, and they predict fish, like this picture is pretty cool, mm. and you, in trying to replicate that, like fish coming onto the land and then slowly fins involving into legs and all that well that's what we learned maybe that theory's changed now but a really nice piece of artwork especially with the shadowing being dark at the back of the fish being in that kind of like gully there like could probably pick the worst spot to come onto land you know kind of stuck it on the bank there you can't really move much but I like the trees in the background. Yeah, nice. That's what I like about this book. It does have some really nice artwork. Now the continents are changing through tectonics. And I think we're still in the Carboniferous period. That's cool. So we have like that kind of like fish, but we've got an early amphibian there where it's already it's developed legs. We've got some prehistoric, like prehistoric trees and things. So like it was more hotter and more humid at that stage of the earth. They predicted and this this actual artwork kind of has that feeling of high humidity with that haze. Got a collage here of, and yeah, just different plant species, their leaves and a few Insects and the famous dragonfly, mega something, it's named mega. Just says giant dragonfly, but you know the name's mega something, I think, one of them anyway. Permian, got the nitrate on there. So, Rekosaurus and Despletosaurus. Actually, that's why I, the artist John Gucci, again, sorry if I'm stuffing up your surname, I think. He's actually selling some of his artworks because I was on Google not too long ago and somehow because I Googled his name and, and this was available to buy, I think. I'm not sure if it was original or a reprint. But yeah, that's, that's pretty famous, that picture. And yeah, I really love this scene because it shows, like, it shows the dinosaurs being agile and you don't know who's gonna win this fight because they're both in a vulnerable type of position and all the dust, the commotion, so. Yeah, that, that's a really nice piece of artwork, that one. Mm. 
and a lot in these like 80s and 90s book the Inaikas always attacking the Trentosaurus something like that it's not saying the name there I wonder how long it took to actually create these artworks. And you know what I just noticed? I've never noticed this, and I've seen this picture a few times. And if you look closely, you might see too. There's a sauropod there. Look, one, two, three, four. There's a sauropod there in the foreground, walking in the forest. And yeah because it's like dusk or dawn or whatever I, the, the legs are actually blending into the tree trunk so that's pretty that's just added another dimension to the to the actual piece of artwork so really cool to be honest i've seen this artwork before but it wasn't as big as this in the book so it's probably easy to miss that little detail there you've got more, like a migration going on i think looks a bit bleak there doesn't it not much um, growing No, they're not dragging, they're kind of dragging the tails, but the tails are a bit lower than what they would be today. As we get into the mammals now. Biometrodon. More mammal than reptile, as they say. No, that T-Rex, I'm not a fan of this one, that T-Rex. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this artwork, but it's still pretty cool. <laughs> the proportions look a bit all out of whack, doesn't it? Obviously the T-Rex is in the back and everything else is a bit closer, but anyway. see the legs are getting longer becoming more agile I guess getting more defined their jaws and things so and the subtle movements the horse one's pretty cool horses did um, they were smaller their ancestors compared to the modern horse Brain. 
Brains, Cast of Brains, SVs. So, so yeah, lovely, a lovely book. Again, quite text heavy, and um, with some really nice artwork. So yeah, comment below if you've uh, seen this one and had a read of it or have any memories. What a nice book. Um, see you all next time.